Hi Divas, welcome back to my channel. So it appears that today Chucky has come upon me and I have decided to bleach my hair and I'm gonna be doing it at home. I'm actually gonna get some help, but I will be reviewing Active Fox uh, Bleach Please new product. I've been so excited waiting for it. It's supposed to be a lot healthier. I used to do it at home before. So I am pretty familiar of how much damage you can do to your hair. So I waited about two years to let all of my roots grow out and at this point I am tired of it. If you see my hair all frizzy and weird it's actually because it's dirty but it is recommended for the oils of your hair to not be stripped before doing a bleach that way you protect your scalp and you have better results at least it's worked for me sometimes i used to use coconut oil i might not do it this time because it's my first time using bleach please so i don't know how it will react but let's get right to it if you like to see this turn it into platinum white keep on watching one two three come on
Alright guys, so this is how it's looking so far. Um, you can see it pretty orange, but that's normal to see. That's what you're supposed to tone. And there's a possibility I will have some bandage right on the connection between my roots with my all white hair. So we'll see how that goes. I feel like it's two years of growing my hair down the drain, but well, this was the whole point. So we're just gonna see how this ends up looking. All right, guys, so let's get to the tea on this crazy ass look. Excuse my language. All right, so let's get it together. First of all, my hair looks a little bit too orange on camera. It looks more golden on person, and my ends did pick up the toner, so they actually are platinum white as I wanted them, as you can see. But this is not the desired look. I was going for a platinum white or um, at least silver, so I was trying to go as white as I could. Right now, I don't necessarily have like a super bending between the outgrown hair and my ends, but I feel like it's very even, at least this part compared to this part, because the white parts are even tones. I don't have, I don't see any spottings. Um, I do here, but this is my back of my hair that was longer. Um, I don't see any crazy black hair left out, none of that stuff. It all seems very even, just on his own color. Uh, if you can see, my close roots did light up a little bit, which is normal. Honestly, we were a little bit short on time because I wanted to have that person to help me since it was a lot of hair and I didn't want to leave spots everywhere but i'm not a professional i'm simply doing this myself because i've done it in the past um like i said if you guys want to hear more about my hair stories just uh let me know down below and i'll do story time my hair's gone through a lot of colors all by mistake and i did burn my hair before so i know what it feels like when your hair is literally falling off i have lost a lot of hair about three four years ago when i did it and a lot of people were like, oh, why don't you just go dark? And because I already put a lot of work, like, this is finally what I wanted to be. I put a lot of work and a lot of money into this ants. So why I'm going to go ahead and just do it brown when I don't necessarily want to be brown. I want to be platinum hair. Um, honestly, this also goes for a promise that I did with my grandma. Uh, my grandma actually has Alzheimer's, if you guys don't know. And she was always on top of her hair, her makeup. Um, she was a go-getter girl all of the way. And um, sadly, when she realized that she has Alzheimer's, she couldn't do her hair anymore and things like that. And she was always very sad that she was going to have white hair. So I promised her, hey grandma, I like white hair, let's do it together. And um, that's also a reason why I wanna have platinum hair, sorry. Um, and she hates platinum hair too, so I have to match with her. Uh, right now my ends do match up with her. Right now I look crazy and she looks good, but whatever. So, story short, mistakes that I did. Uh, honestly, it was the first time that I was using uh, Bleach Please from Arctic Fox, so I wasn't sure what to expect of it. Uh, review towards that, it worked really, really fast. As you guys can see in the videos, she wasn't even done with this half and it was already lighting up. So it did light up, but obviously did not work as good as um, other other ones I have used before, honestly. Um, but it is healthier. My hair does feel hair too. You know, I can do this and not lose hair. I can move it around and it has texture to it. So it, it was good. Um, also, I was 11 before, so my hair was very, very dark and they were actually virgin. This was It, it was actually virgin hair, so I was expecting to light up faster. So it did, just not as good as I needed to, but that's okay, we can bleach again. It's always better 
to have to do more process later on rather than do it all on the spot or losing your hair the first time around. So this is a good thing, people. I might not seem to you guys, but I have gone through this. This is a good thing. I do not recommend it for you to do at home. The only reason why I do it myself is because I do it in the past. I know what to expect. And every time in the past that I went to professionals that they said they could do it, they ended up ruining my hair even worse in so many levels. Again, if you want the story, just comment below. Um, and another note, when I was washing off the bleach, uh, I did notice that my hands were really oily. It looks like it does have some oils within the actual mixture, mixture of the bleaching, which may be good, may be bad, I'm not sure. Maybe that's what nourished my hair a little bit, but my hair was still very, very dry afterwards. So after I did record everything yesterday, I went ahead and did an Olaplex at home number three that I have, and it did give my hair a lot more um, nourishment i feel like and a little bit more protein but my hair was already in a pretty good state by the time i finished and another thing about it it's a little bit tingly it works really fast so you need to move quick um that that's all i can really say about it and honestly i will not recommend you to do it at home I've done it before, I've burned my hair before, I almost had to go bald once, so I'm only doing this because I want it and I wasn't very lucky with certain hairdressers that promised the world to me and charged me up to $300 and nothing happened. So it's not even about money, honestly, I'm not even doing it because, of, I'm not even doing it myself because of money, it's not really about that, it's about the fact that every time I did put my money down and trusted someone, I ended up in so much worse situations so this is honestly not a lot of people would like to walk outside with this but i don't mind it because i have had so much worse before so it's okay and honestly it kind of looks cool it looks like a like a modern super ass wear color so i guess that's this is somewhat of a look i feel like my boyfriend's gonna look like elsa from frozen i don't really think i look like elsa but <laughs> i think i do look a really crazy scientist or some shit I don't know, this is people that suffer this, but I usually try not to curse on camera, but it is that bad. So, whatever, it's okay. I'm gonna wait about a week from now or a little bit more. I will go ahead and bleach my hair again with the products I have tried before. Most likely at 10 volume or 20, I don't think I need too much. I think my hair usually bleaches pretty good. So I'm guessing that probably with 20 minutes max, I should be able to get where I want and if not I can always just do a bleach wash I'll give you guys an update once that's ready and for some reason my toner my toner usually is really good I've tried it before I would expect it to pick up a little bit honestly I could fix this with a good toner it uses development like well obviously not 1018 like everybody uses but I could use a, a toner mixed with developer and lift it a little bit however I don't want to do that because I don't want to keep messing with my hair and I know it's only gonna give me like an ashy blonde, it's not gonna get me what I want to. So I prefer to just wing it like this, let my hair breathe and get these own oils going on to work it out again. The toner I use is actually Brazilian and it's mostly like a conditioner, semi-permanent or demi-permanent, I'm not sure if it's semi or demi, but it's really good, it washes off little by little, but it actually, it is to be very long lasting, I used it before. So here it gave me an amazing result, but here, not so much. I don't know if it's because about here I'm like a level 7 or 8. Um, so I probably need like a 9 or 10 to let it be here. But this is also like really old hair. So this one could pick up any product. I don't know if it was still open. I'm not sure. It just did not drink up. When I put it, this part, it did nothing. Nothing at all. Not even the most minimum toning. So it's okay. I'll do it again. I still have some leftovers. It's a big bottle, so I will have for a while. Um, so that's it. This is this is what it looks like. Do not do it at home. I like the products. I I did like the bleaching kit, but I feel like it's maybe more for a root toe shop or removing a color that you already have. I don't think it's necessarily amazing for really outgrown roots because it just didn't, it worked fast, but it just didn't do as much lifting. It was also at 35 volume, so I would expect a little bit more lifting, but also it's supposed to be healthier. So maybe the chemicals were not necessarily there. I will not do a 30 volume again. Again, you should not. I will not do a 30 volume 
ever again on this hair i should be doing about 10 to 20 all you really need is that little bit more time on bleaching so yeah this is it you know below what you guys think of this crazy color uh please be nice <laughs> Uh, but I do know that most of you guys are going to be wilding out because this is crazy. I'm, I know most of you guys are going to be freaking out for me and that's okay. Don't worry. I'm okay. I'm not sad. I've been in worst. I'll write it out. It's okay. So thank you so much for watching and just wait for part two. Bye.